Hello gorgeous. My name is Dusty and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like math, Bob, I would appreciate your likes and your subscribes. Everybody who already has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. I do have a holiday sale into the 25th of December. It is 20 minutes for $25 or one hour for $75. You can copy that promo code and just head over to book now at ScorpioPriestess.com and you can put it in the promo section at checkout. If you would like to enter to win a holiday giveaway, it is a half hour FaceTime as well as a 30, I mean, a 30 minute FaceTime as well as a bath ritual cleansing kit. You can do that by entering holiday. I hope everybody is well, vibing high, living your best life. We are going to see what is coming for you, Scorpio, what you need to know uh, in January, what you need to know in love in January, but first some private personal messages for you. Spirit, tell me, what is the message that we have for Scorpio this morning, please? What message do they need to know about January? Paint the sun back in your sky, number 11. Some of you may start seeing number 11 a lot. Somebody here could be an artist, wanting to be an artist. You could sell something big, um, actually sell something that you made um, very at a big ticket price. Bitch fire, stand up for yourself. Number 16. In the month of January, you may feel at times, Scorpio, like you are needing to stand up for yourself. Like you need to uh, tell a motherfucker about their self. You need to tell someone how it is you feel, as well as taking care of you. Remember that you are the only one that is ever guaranteed to stay, my love. And um, with that in mind, it's time for you to start doing things that you enjoy, that you love, Scorpio. It's time for you to start expressing yourself creatively or um, doing things that really uh, make you feel light and excited by raising your vibration and opening your sacral you will attract a lot of other things to you including love if you are looking for a new love there is no better way to say it someone in your life is trying to burn you at the stake maybe you didn't give them something they wanted or you didn't let them get away with their bad behavior either way they're trying to ruin your reputation rest assured your reputation will stay intact Silence can be effective, but this is not that kind of situation. Get loud and let them get a taste of your bitch fire. In the month of January, unfortunately, Scorpio, there may be times that you need to stand up for yourself. There may be somebody trying to get away with something. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense, spirit. I was seeing something in my third eye, like anger. I have things that I see in my third eye a lot. Um, and when I say my third eye, it's almost like a shadow. It's like my peripheral vision and I see things. Um, it is beautiful and wonderful. And, um, but I was seeing something as I was meditating and, and getting the cards ready for this reading that, uh, was making me feel anger. I feel some of you have something coming for you or someone about to act, you know, in all sorts of ways and uh you giving them the silent treatment is going to trigger them some of you are deciding not to speak to someone anymore whether that's a friend a family member oh boy yes a a lover inner conflict unexpressed expressed anger conflict with somebody feeling insignificant negative emotions your shadow self spirit is letting you know right now that in january there may be moments where you are uh, in your shadow self where you have to go there you have to get that stinger out some of you feel insignificant in someone's life you feel like you don't matter you feel like you never mattered you feel like they just discarded you and and that can be very hard Time to move on. Don't dwell in the past. Positive changes are afoot. Scorpio, there's positive changes coming for you, darling. There is. Positive changes coming. 
but right now you have to uh, try to stay in your higher self express yourself in creative ways really take care of you and bring the sun back into your own sky whether a person comes back whether they stay whether they leave you are always left with yourself Scorpio you have no one in this world not your children not even your mother that is guaranteed to stay we all have free will here on planet earth and and so it's important to get good with you interchanges believe in your own untapped power untapped potential you have a lot of untapped potential you have a lot of inner power and in the month of january you may want to call upon this inner inner self this bitch fire inside of you not in a dark way but in a good way pay attention to your life what you are what are you refusing to see you are being watched oh boy I, i've been picking up on this energy for days now a lot of you are being watched a lot of you have a lot of eyes on you right now and some of it good some of it bad some people look at you like you are competition bad choices third party situation trust issues embrace your inner child pursue your imagination childhood memories some of you um, with the holidays etc you may be uh, looking back on areas of your life that that hurt you people in your life that hurt you family friends abuse things that um you know happened when you were a child you may need to heal some things inside of you or start embracing your inner child more. Go out and have fun. Laugh. Swing your arms. Jump. Skip. Do whatever you need to do to feel that, that sense of freedom and wonder. Some of you just need to express yourself in a more creative way. I forgot to turn the music on. I want to give me one second. I was going to do that. It just feels really quiet in here. I have my TV now, which I love. I have a beautiful like fireplace setting on there. So it's so nice. It was so nice yesterday reading all day. Um, tell, tell me what this is, Spirit. Tell me about Scorpio being watched, please, in the month of January. Page of Cups. Oh boy, the Emperor in reverse. There's somebody that's been like a tyrant. There's somebody that's just been really abusive with their words, abuse with power. This person, um, you could have children to them. Some of you may have some issues with your children in January um, with co-parenting. Some of you are co-parenting with somebody that just lets you down all the time, that lets your children down all the time, and you're starting to feel angry. This person is watching you. For others, this is just an ex. This is somebody that is angry that they are no longer controlling you, um, and they're acting very immature and juvenile. Where did you go? Somebody is acting very juvenile, devil energy. This person, you seem to feel bound to them. You're energetically picking up on one another. Six of Wands here. Um, you're having some victory in January that's going to anger this person. The better you do, the more angry they become. They feel bound to you. Somebody here could get flowers from a lover in January. You could have a, a yellow flower tattoo. What are these third part? What is this third party situation trust issues? Some of you are dealing with your trust issues. You may have trust issues that um, the fool, the ten of swords. Oh boy, do you and the moon. A lot of you here, you've been dealing with some insecurities and fear because of Ten of Swords at some point being betrayed in your life. A lot of you are looking back at relationships in January. You're reflecting and, and looking at the way you've handled yourself. There's a lot of unexpressed anger in your energy, though, Scorp. It's important for you to, to get it out. Go work out. Scream. Run. Jump. Uh, write. Journal. Write, write this person everything you want to say to them and read it out loud. Don't give, not to give to them, but for you to get this unexpressed anger and pain out of your energy. You're starting a new year. It can be a new you, sweetheart embrace your inner child embrace this untapped inner power a lot of you um you need to pay attention what are you refusing to see here it's time to move on spirit is being really clear there's anger and someone is not treating you right 
the sun, but you're walking into a much better place than you were before. The Queen of Cups, you, by the end of January, really feeling good again, feeling um, like yourself again, coming back to your own energy. There's something that may be illuminated to you by the divine in January through a dream message. Knight of Swords energy. Somebody here is very aggressive. They make too quick of decisions. And, and you're being asked to balance yourself out. You're not seeing something the way the divine is asking you to. There's something you're refusing to see about a person or an area of your life. Maybe you're passing blame. Maybe you're, you're blaming um, somebody for all of your problems and issues. But maybe you're blaming your childhood. But the truth is, Scorpio, that um, we create our life. People treat us the way we allow them to. And unfortunately, I know that's hard. I'll lose subs, so though, people that will click off right now. But it's true. And I've allowed myself to be treated terribly. And I've allowed myself to, to walk into a lot of fires in my life. So I'm coming from love. But are you walking yourself repeatedly back into a fire that you know what the result's going to be? The divine is asking you to look at that in January. It's time to move on. Don't dwell on the past. There's positive changes coming for you. In January, by the end of January, if you start now, if you start getting rid of this unexpressed anger and pain, you'll be able to start feeling a lot lighter and, and work through some of these trust issues that have been created because of a third party situation. Somebody here could have very curly hair, um, dark skin. ask ask us for help in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf we're governed by many universal laws and among them is free will that allows us to make choices and decisions so we patiently await your request the divine is saying don't don't get out of pocket here don't let somebody take your power when you get angry and you fight with somebody they're taking power from you don't give anybody that much power over you i i i say that to myself when someone's you know being very rude or or um you know, trying to come for me in some way or whatever, I will honestly have a conversation with myself and say, I will not give them that much power over me. I will not. I'm going to um, remain balanced and calm and um, I'll come for somebody in the, in the nicest, kindest way possible. Um, you can stand up for yourself. Just don't allow it to push you to a place where your vibration is low or you're chaotic and screaming and losing your mind. Be calm. Be patient. Ask the divine for help. Listen. Quiet your mind, beloved one. And listen. Our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desires or manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. Clearly, This is our request to you. Listen. The divine is letting you know that you're receiving messages. They are receiving your messages, Scorpio. They are listening. They hear you. They feel your pain, sweetheart. You are not alone, alone, but never lonely. In the month of January, it's going to be more important than ever for you to slow down and quiet that mind. Really listen to what spirit is trying to tell you about a lover, about your life. Moving forward here to love in January, spirit. What is the overall energy for Scorpio for love in January, please? Playfulness, flirt, and you deserve love. You are lovable. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? You deserve love and you are lovable. In the month of January, it's going to be important that you know you deserve to be loved. You deserve for someone to love you, Scorpio, in the way that you love. And we love deep, don't we? How nice would it be to meet somebody that loves, honors, and cherishes you as much as you love, honor, and cherish them? That is what you deserve. Extend your lighthearted energy to others and recapture love. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. A lot about 
inner inner um, child here um your your youthful spirit the divine is asking you to play a little bit extend yourself to someone you may want to flirt with someone in january you're giving your you've been given the green light somebody may start flirting with you in january be very playful want to flirt and have fun make you feel really light and and playful again tell me about what's coming towards scorpio in love in january please spirit domineering protect your reputation beware of delusions oh boy there, i gotta clarify this there's somebody scorpio that's trying to come for you and your reputation in january i can't i can't avoid seeing it anymore <clears throat> eight of wands this person wants to communicate with you or they're 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 posting things or trying to say things about you you could be you could have gotten yourself wrapped up with a narcissist and when you deny them when they come back and you tell them no i'm done i'm making a, the decision and the lover is here to go another way or i do not want to repeat a cycle um they're in the knight of wands energy rushing in and out of your life they're going to get angry they may start coming for you online or trying to ruin your reputation stay strong um, live from your higher self look at them as being a little child that that has not learned their spiritual lessons yet some of you nine of cups energy here have something really good coming for you and this player this domineering person um, now for some of you this is a third party who's very domineering and delusional um, for others, you are going through a divorce and, and you are, your ex-husband or wife is posting nasty things or will in January. I, I hope that it doesn't happen. But if it does, come back and comment because for some of you, unfortunately, you have some kind of text fight or uh, public thing that may happen with an ex because they're angry that you no longer want them. Or that you are putting up strong, healthy boundaries. People that are spoiled or are used to being able to step all over you do not like it when you put up healthy boundaries, Scorp. They will never like it. They will always push back. And for some of you, there's someone pushing back. For some, in January, you could have a third party that starts posting and talking badly about you and trying to ruin your reputation I'm so sorry that I'm seeing this, but I am, and I feel it strong. There's something about your reputation you're going to have to stand up for yourself in January. Oh, God, spirit, amen. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. In January, we may have someone coming for us. Remember, I am a Scorpio sun and moon, so uh, some of these messages apply to me. So uh, I can't wait to see what this one is for some of you there's just somebody it's not even involving love around you that could be coming for you in your reputation so keep stay prayed up stay balanced stay ready if someone comes for you in january let a motherfucker know who you are scorpio moving forward here intense emotions relationship harmony and excellent new love match some of you have a beautiful new love coming in a match somebody that you'll match with i'm seeing something in my third eye you'll match with you'll match with them online you may be online dating scorpio and meet somebody or you will be in some kind of community online or can in the community and meet this person this person could have um warm like a warmer brown red hair you could be dyeing your hair like auburn you could have auburn hair allies sharing and reflecting trust your friend's opinion find support in doubt spirits letting you know that yes there will be somebody that will um try to fuck with your reputation but scorp you have friends and trust them also if you have a cherished trusted friend trust their rep trust them and their opinion when dating if your friend is 
is asking you what the hell you're doing with somebody most of the time there's a reason for that right so trust your friends opinions in January spirit saying because there's a unexpected romance falling in love here fun times being friends first developing feelings some of you have a friend in January that you're gonna develop feelings for or you're starting to develop feelings for right now or they're developing feelings for you this person could be a co-worker or someone in your community or on your friends list tell me spirit let's first talk about this domineering person spying social network information in ways twin flames oh boy some of you this is your twin now remember if there is somebody that is trying to hurt you there's a lot of things that your twin will not do to you some of you have been dealing with a false twin. Right? Others, you, you are uh, dealing with your twin and they are a bit domineering and controlling and they are spying on you and they could post something on social media that you find offensive. For some, you're dealing with somebody that you had shared feelings with before and this person is now spying on social media and posting... Um, things or will be in January they could even just start posting subliminal things somebody that you could have a child to this is someone you have children to for some of you for some you may get pregnant in the month of January if you're not looking to get pregnant be careful you're very fertile or get someone pregnant there's a lot of possibilities a lot of possibilities in January here, Scorpio. You may want to take some risk. Tell me about this person that Scorpio is going to have an intense relationship with. Intense emotion. Peace, balance, harmony, friendship. Some friend confessions here. Unraveling, coming clean messages, but mixed emotions messed up some of you here have a friend that's going to come clean that they find you very attractive and they want to ask you out some of you have someone in january coming clean for you we are getting so many predictions and i'm absolutely loving this spirit i did a little bit of a different meditation before i started i'm going to continue to do this a lot of you here have a friend that's coming clean about how they feel for you this person could do something online they could be like a, a social media manager or they could have a online business or something like this um, I, I feel that it's unexpected and you're going to be really confused some of you feel cursed some of you feel like someone put a hex on you or your mindset's negative because you've been dealing with trust issues. You're a little clouded in your judgment here, Scorpio. Moving into January, you're going to be clouded. Don't get caught up in illusions. Some of you are looking for a foundation. You've been falling apart. You've been sinking. You've been in despair. In the month of January, Scorpio, you're going to come out of this. You are. If you need me to pray for you, please put prayer in the comment section and I will pray for you to be able to see clearly, to make clear decisions here. Because you have somebody new about to approach and shoot their shot and you don't want to go into it confused and thinking that everything's going to turn out wrong. A lot of you may be fantasizing about a past person. You're, something's hitting a breaking point though. It's the final straw in January. I feel a lot of anger and aggression and for some of you with a past lover or with a lover that's currently in and out of your life. Um, so you perhaps are going to move on or need to um, tell me about the new person entering Scorpio's life you're being asked to get in a divine feminine energy because you're putting up some resistance right now if you want to manifest a, in a brand new person um, you want to make sure you're not resisting there is a return coming a lot of you here it, this person new person is very loyal they are very trusting you can trust them Scorpio you're being guided to get in a divine feminine energy there is someone that is your secret admirer they're really timid though and they've been suppressing their feelings for you they've been afraid to reach out to you 
Tell me about this new person, please. What can we tell Scorpio about January love, this new person? Those Scorpios meeting a new person, a secret admirer. It could be somebody you work with, Eight of Pentacles. And again, um, getting in your Empress energy, male or female. In the month of January, it's going to be important that you allow yourself to receive. Allow yourself to receive love, gifts, compliments. Take a lot of baths, drink a lot of water, do a feminine energy, meditation. Some of you uh, need to balance your masculine and feminine energy out more. It makes you uncomfortable for people to give to you. If it makes you uncomfortable um, when people um, compliment you, um, you may be in too much of a masculine energy. This person seems to... Tell me about the person that wants Scorpio's forgiveness. You may be meeting a Taurus or an earth sign in January, Scorpio. Five of swords, two of swords, oh God. And the ace of swords, someone's coming in finally with the truth. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone's coming in, they've been really confused after some kind of arguments and fights. This person could have tried to ruin your reputation at one point and now they're coming in with apologies. This person may be coming back to apologize, confess something to you about sending evil eye and doing the things they've been doing. There's some truth, there's some honesty. If you have a court hearing with this person, you're going to win. If you have a court hearing in January, it's going to turn out well. You could have a little boy to this person. Somebody here could have really short hair. Somebody here could have a best friend or in someone's alley, alley, something about that too. So tell me, what is the final predictions for Scorpio in January in love, please? Ten of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the King of Swords. A lot of you uh, have some really happy moments in January, but it's going to require you to heal recover someone's making a head over heart decision or at the end of january you're going to make a head over heart decision period you're going to decide to uh change something about yourself your life uh or your lover in the month of january i feel you're going to change something something's changing is what i'm feeling and hearing something's changing maybe a past person's finally changing this domineering fucking person Tell me about them and what they have to say to Scorpio, this person that tried to ruin Scorpio's reputation, or some of you, they didn't. It's a third party. It's someone they're with that tried to ruin your reputation. Soulmate. False flame. See, some of you were dealing, some of you are dealing with someone who's dealing with a karmic, a false flame that causes emotional distress. That's, that's always um, up to something. They are, they are just always trying to cause some trouble. It's a karmic they got themselves involved with. Others, you have been in a dysfunctional cycle with, with a karmic. And you have a soulmate coming in. Some of you are dealing with a soulmate. They met a karmic and, and bounced. And, and they've, this karmic has been trying to, um, you know, make make you look like you're some type of way. You're a gold digger, a home wrecker. A, I, I don't know. That's just the things that I'm hearing offhand. Or you've called this karmic all of those things. We, we keep replaying the same old story over and over again and it never ends well. When are we going to do better? This person is feeling like you're in a dysfunctional cycle going round and round. Uh, they want to come in and apologize, but they're tired of the cycle their self. They're most likely causing most of it with their domineering behavior or with this karmic. Um, and But, you know, you, you seem to be in a cycle. Somebody has to break the cycle. You may be, you may have think you found the one but they wouldn't cause you so much pain and stress if they were wake up and realize our connection is the real deal a lot of you here this person is dealing with a karmic and they need to realize that they are dealing with a false flame 
They need to realize that this karmic is doing nothing but causing pain, trouble, and distress, trying to ruin your reputation. They may be threatening to ruin this person's if they leave. Thank you, spirit. That That's exactly what I feel. Like there's somebody in their life. This could be an Aquarius or something could come out in Aquarius season. This third party could be an Aquarius. They seem to be um, threatening to ruin this person's reputation if they leave, if they illuminate something leo energy could be a leo ten of pentacles it's about money yeah, to the five of pentacles you see what i'm saying this person a lot of you are dealing with someone who's caught up with a with a false flame who is threatening to take money from them who is threatening to ruin them to put them in the poor house there's something that this third party could know that you don't realize this person may have made a, a shady business deal they may be lying about how much money they make because a child's there's something this person may be able to call the irs or do something here do something they're threatening them with something threatening to tell you some of you this person's dealing with a third party that's threatening to call you and ruin this person's reputation with you in the month of january something could be illuminated to you about this this person is so afraid page of cups the five of wands and the king of wands are trying to get the confidence but there's so much strife chaos and confusion in their life they, they want to reach out with a really small, tiny love offer. Just something like hi, something playful and flirty. Um, for a lot of them, they got themselves caught up with this karmic that is threatening to, to ruin their reputation and take money from them in some way. I feel you are my equal and you make me want to be a better person. Not just for you, but also for myself. You challenge me to change and grow. This person knows that something's different between the two of you. Like I said, somebody here could have really short hair. Um, this person knows that you challenge them to grow and to heal and to become their best self. And they, they like that about you, Scorpio. Don't fall back on your morals and your values here. This, this person um cherishes this they they feel like you are challenging them to be better but they've gotten their self caught up in a situation that they need to see their self out of and in january you may meet somebody new or a friend or a secret admirer may come clean and this person is going to lose their shot they may be the ones sinking, falling apart, and in despair. Thank you, Spirit. If you are dealing with someone who has children to a karmic that you've had arguments with, this person is just sinking and falling apart. Others, this person got involved with a karmic for money um, or a karmic, ha they've been paying the karmic's bills and, and they're being took for a lot of money or they've gotten you know they've spent so much money on this third party or or the third party has spent a lot on them and now they're afraid to leave there's definitely some third party involvement I, I, i'm not sure exactly how it will be different for all of you career transition in january you may decide that you want to change your career reflect and reimagine your career Decide to be intentional, proactive, and courageous about building a new career focus. Surround yourself with good people and you will find that previously unimaginable horizons will open up for you. Some of you are meeting new friends that are going to take you into a really um, great place in life. Maybe You may be deciding to change careers and, or change the, your place of work and that's where you're going to meet this new person in a fr amongst a co-workers a friend group you may go out for drinks after work with these with with these people and there's somebody in this group in the month of january who's going to ask you out a lot of you this person is already crushing on you but you may not be noticing what are you refusing to see in the month of january pay attention to the signs the synchronicities pay attention to who's watching you your inner guidance here 
a lot of beautiful things coming in for you. I, I really hope that you all have the best Tuesday ever. Scorpio, it's going to be the best Tuesday we've ever had. Scorp, today is the best Tuesday you've ever had. <laughs> today is the best fucking Tuesday we have ever had. Love and light.